Nu går mamma her. Så der ligger en tak. Hello. Hey. What's up? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm alright. I had a rough year, but it is what it is. You had a rough year? Yeah, it's been a tough year. Free agency sucked. Draft was depressing. So. Yeah. You know this business, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, you live day to day in this business, you know. You've yeah, I do. Long enough now. Yeah, I do. One day you're up. Next day, guy gets cut. You're down. Next day, guy gets a new deal. You're up. Next day, guy gets cut. You're down. That's just this business. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but I was calling you to uh, kind of talk to you about uh, stuff that I had going on and kind of like what I want my next directions to be. Okay. Um, but after talking about keeping playing football, huh? About keeping playing football. Uh, yeah. And going there, like I just felt like. Um, I'm ready to start the next chapter in my life. You know what I'm saying? Not Understood. not playing football. You know what I'm saying? And just seeing what God has for me next. What is it? Um, you know, I'm still trying to figure that out. I know that I've built... Coaching? Um, I would say coaching has to do with it. But I think, you know, coaching kids and coaching teenagers and hopefully being able to, you know, impact their lives is something that I definitely want to do. Um... But I've realized with this platform that I've had on YouTube um, and stuff like that, I know that I'm able to touch lives and really help people you know, being transparent with you know what I've been through my entire life and being able to just to help people. And that's something that I know God has called me to do. And I know my heart has been pulling me there for a long time. It's the best thing I've ever had a client do because it, it allows you to be to let people see how real the world is of not just being an athlete, but being a husband, being a father, the struggles, the emotions, because you're raw in there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. What number are you at now? How many subscribers? Um, I'm at 120,000 and some change. Got to get you to a million. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, that's what everybody says. But to me, like, I've built a community that really cares about me and really no, it's true. knows that. Thousand people, it's amazing. That's yeah, a, that's a major city. Yeah, and they they know that I'm real. They know what they see on the cameras, what they get when they see me in person. That's all that really matters to me than the million subscribers. You know what I'm saying? So, I really was calling just to thank you for like all the past, you know, the past few years. Like, I know it's been tough being, you know, starting in Miami and then all the stuff like you know where how the whole situation was there. Like, you really have helped me a lot. And I truly do like appreciate everything that you've done for me uh, the past few years, and yeah, it just means a lot to me. No, oh, I love you, man. Listen, you've had this crazy, horrible career roller coaster with emotions that have been, you know, obviously I ride back and forth with your emotions. You know, it's just been cool to be, you know, see your wedding and see you have a child now, and to see your life. I remember when you first started the YouTube page, and I was like. So what are you gonna do with this? Like, what's it about? You know, now it's like this big part of, you know, your existence because you're who you are. You know, obviously helping with your brother. You know, helping be a part of the little bit that I did to get you guys reunited. You know, which was amazing, and you know, just all of it fits in a great little, incredible three four year window that is, you know, disappointing to me. That I feel like you kind of never got a fair shot. Yeah. Like I look at your career, but Brian and I were talking about after CFL didn't want to sign you, and he was like, "Man, it's just so, he's like, just the guy has so much more talented than so many players on rosters, and it's just like for whatever reason, you just were never given a fair shake." And and, and you know, the weird part about this business is you don't really get an answer. Like I I, I don't I can't really tell you why you're not a starting safety in the NFL. I signed you when you were on the Dolphins, and I remember telling Eric Weddle, I was like, I finally got my next you. He's like, huh? I'm like, yeah, I signed a kid on the Dolphins. He's on the practice squad. He'll be active eventually, and he'll have a great career in the NFL, I'll play 10 years. Smart, athletic, really studies hard, works, loves the game. He's like, that's awesome. Blah, blah, blah. Where do you play? Minnesota. And, and you know, Weddle and I were talking about it. And then, you know, you got cut. You bounced back and forth. And you were in the Patriots for a little bit somewhere else. And then he's like, hey, where, where's that guy playing? I want to watch tape on him. And I'm like, he's not playing. He's like, huh? 
I'm like, yeah, it's, it just doesn't make any sense. I don't really understand sometimes how this business does things. You know, I mean, obviously I've done it for 22 years, so I've seen everything. I love you, man. I want to be a part of your life for your whole life. I don't want to be a part of, you know, that wasn't part of like a marketing pitch. That's a real thing. Mm-hmm. You know, I want, I want to see you and Charlotte and your daughter and help you in any way that I can. If you're not going to play football, I'm not going to pursue it, which I totally get, by the way. I mean, shit, all the stuff you've been through. Yeah, I mean, so. I mean I'm mean, i excited for, you know, what's next. And, like, I feel like I've been, like, my heart's really been pulled to do this for a long time. But, you know, like, I give everything that I have, you know, with every opportunity that I've been given in. Now I feel like, you know, it's my time to just walk away from this and start this next chapter, which I think is going to be truly just amazing for my family, for my life, and for, you know, the people really around the world. I have plans to, you know, really make an impact in our in this society and, you know, when young men and women and people who um, just need help with, you know, different things in their lives. And I feel like, you know, that's really my number one goal and my number one thing that God put me on this earth to do so. I'm just, I'm just ready to do that. And I, just I think you'll be unbelievable at it, and I'm obviously excited and optimistic for you. To be passionate about something is massive, and it means the world. If you're not passionate about it, it's just hard to be successful at it. Mm. And you know, when I watch the videos, I know you're being real I know you're being honest I know you're being raw and that passion comes through passion is what drives people to be successful you know someone asked me they're like well you're 45 you got a wife you got three kids you know how much more do you want to do this sports business and I'm like till I'm in the ground I don't know if you have the proclivity for this but I think you should consider a book that is hey you know this is my story but let me start it from the beginning yeah dude i'm I mean, telling you i have a i have a plan to write a book i'm about to start speaking like i have a whole plan dude i'm telling you i'm like seriously seriously excited about it yeah you know, i could see five years from now you being a guy that has a couple million followers and goes around the country and not only is a motivational guy but is also you know family guy is yeah. also a, str- a struggle guy is also yeah. you know throws in obviously the religion you know because yeah. that's important to yeah. you and to, and to people so you know i'm happy to help in any way okay yeah any any time like i have a new idea i'll definitely bounce it off you to get the advice and the you know the guidance from you i would just really call on the you know so once again say thank you for like, all you've done for me and this isn't the end, this isn't the end for us but it's only the beginning no, of this new chapter. no but uh, from a football standpoint i get it it's like hey you know don't don't push it it's not something i'm interested in right now yeah and i get that yeah it's been tough, man. It's been fucking brutal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Really I can't remember many guys, you know, that have had that kind of same. But, yeah. So, when do you start? When well, do you make the big YouTube video announcing this, uh, the move? Uh, I'm posting it tomorrow. Awesome. Awesome. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Send, me, send it to me. All right, Big Thank you so much, David. I love you, buddy. I'm here for you always and forever. I love you too, man. Say hi to the fam. I will. Hi, Senator. Bye.